O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Joshua, Chapter 3 Bright and early the next morning, Joshua and the Israelites left Shittim and came to the Jordan. They camped there before the crossing of the river. After three days, the leaders went through the camp and commanded the people, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God being carried by the Levitical priests, you must leave here and walk behind it. But stay about 3,000 3, feet behind. Keep your distance so that you can see which way you should go, for you have not travelled this way before.
Joshua told the people, Ritually consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will perform miraculous deeds among you. Joshua told the priests, Pick up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on ahead of the people. And so they picked up the Ark of the Covenant and went ahead of the people. The Lord told Joshua, This very day I will begin to honour you before all Israel that they will know that I am with you just as I was with Moses. Instruct the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant. When you reach the bank of the Jordan River, wade out into the water. Joshua told the Israelites, Come, I hear, and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that the living God is among you, and he will truly drive out before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. Look, the Ark of the Covenant of the ruler of the whole earth is about to enter the Jordan ahead of you. Now select for yourselves twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one per tribe. When the feet of the priests carrying the Ark of the Lord, the ruler of the whole earth, touch the water of the Jordan. The water coming downstream will stop flowing and pile up. So when the people left their tents to cross the Jordan, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. When those carrying the arch Ark reached the Jordan and the feet of the priests carrying the Ark touched the surface of the water, while well, the Jordan is in flood all during the harvest time, the water coming downstream toward them stopped flowing. It piled up as far upstream as Adam, the city near Zarethan, and there was no water falling at all into the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea. The people crossed the river opposite Jericho. The priests carrying the Ark of the Covenants of the Lord stood firmly on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan. All Israel crossed over on dry ground, until the entire nation was on the other side. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Second Epistle to the Corinthians, Chapter 5 It is the love of Christ which is moving us, because we are of the opinion that if one was put to death for all, then all have undergone death, that he underwent death for all, so that the living might no longer be living to themselves, but to him who underwent death for them, coming back from the dead. For this reason, from this time forward, we have knowledge of no man after the flesh. Even if we had knowledge of Christ after the flesh, we no longer have any such knowledge. So if any man is in Christ, he is in a new world. The old things have come to an end. They have truly become new. But all things are of God, who has made us at peace with himself through Christ and has given to us the work of making peace. That is, that God was in Christ making peace between the world and himself, not putting their sins to their account, and having given to us the preaching of this news of peace. So we are the representatives of Christ, as if God were making a request to you through us. We make our request to you in the name of Christ. Be at peace with God. For him who had no knowledge of sin, God made to be sin for us, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The Collect for Aid Against All Perils Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, of the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>